how's it going guys? It's your main man Richard, you're the corn caller, and yes, the spoiler wall is back up. Yes, there's a little spoiler because Wizard 101 has yet again released another teaser. Um, I'm just, like, this teaser one, the one they showed us, this one actually has a lot of stuff that we can dig into and theorize what is going to happen on Test Realm slash the update. So, yeah, without further ado, if you do not want spoilers and you just want to wait until the update comes to Live Realm, then obviously click off the video. This ain't the video for you, Chief. But, if you're excited for this teaser and you're ready to delve into it, uh, yeah, let's get started. And if you wanted to see the full teaser, um, you can basically just go on their uh, social media pages. I look mine up from Twitter because that's where they've been posting um, all of these teaser images. But without further ado, we are going to lower the spoiler wall and we are going to get right in to the juiciness of um, basically this whole picture. And let me just say that this picture is just amazing. So going in from it, we have the Backpack Butler. Ah, yes. The Backpack Butler is going for the model of, I think, one of the robots in um, uh, Celestia. It has one of those robot models. I think we've all seen this type of model before, but if you haven't, this is what he looks like. And you're probably wondering, well, what in the world is a Backpack Butler? And that is the question that we are all asking, ladies and gentlemen. Now, on the main tweet of what they send this, um, they first stated that, hey, have you misplaced or parked one of your mounts? Or have you lost one of your uh, wands? Well, basically, this backpack butler will uh, supposedly help you with that. Um, like I said, going back to the tweet, it says a new feature is coming soon in the upcoming test realm that will solve your inventory problems. So the key words of this main tweet, or basically teaser, is that forget where you parked your mount. So mount is one of the key words, and also left your wand. So wand would also be a key word, basically meaning something that has to deal with backpack inventory or stuff that you can place um, in the house. And we can possibly theorize that this is going to be a housing furniture. And the reason we say that is because, well, they are in the Wisteria Villa. If you don't know, the Wisteria Villa is in the crown shop. Don't worry, you can also buy it with crowns. You Not crowns, you can buy it with gold. Um, you don't have to buy this with crowns, but yeah, it's available in the crown shop for you to purchase with gold, and that's the house that they are in. It's actually a very beautiful house. I have it on one of my other characters. It's a very beautiful house. Now, what we notice in the far distance is a music player. Not only that, but we also see some sort of chairs or something. Looks like there's uh, some sort of table that's set up there. Looks like this person has furniture items there. Now, before we delve into like all the minor and tiny things that you probably already noticed, I wanted to go into detail about the Backpack Butler and basically what it does. Basically something that has to deal with inventory management, which is pretty awesome. Now a lot of people were saying, that, oh yeah, this is gonna be worth like 3,000 crowns. I mean, where is the lie? I mean, you're not wrong. Of course, this is going to be a crown shop item. And there are some clues hidden throughout this uh, entire teaser that gives us a prompt on how this might play out in the live realm or test realm. So basically, if you don't know, the backpack butler is sitting there, as you can see, um, just sitting there in the house. But if we go all the way to the tiny right side, you can see that the player or the person that's on the test realm has the place object thing or the little text, meaning that they have their mouse cursor over this, meaning that most likely they probably just recently placed this furniture item. That's just one of the theories. I I think we can all just guess that this is probably going to be some sort of housing item that we can place in our house. And specifically, what does the Backpack Butler do? Well, going back from what the teaser said, it said if you forgot where you parked your mount or left your wand, this uh, new feature in the game is going to basically help you uh, basically find your stuff or basically search for your items um, in your specific house. 
if you guys don't know, you can actually go to the housing icon, and if you click on the attic, you can actually click on the house and see what items are actually in that des um, that house. But I think this backpack butler or this new feature is going to range farther from that. Could this be for one account maybe, meaning that you could potentially look through all of your houses on each of your characters on that same account to see where you might have your mount or, you know, wherever your wands are. A lot of people are saying that in um, Twitter, maybe they can find their missing grasshopper mount or maybe they can find their missing dark Mar robe. So whatever this backpack butler is, is definitely going to help some players out, especially those who decorate a lot that have a lot of stuff in their houses. So I definitely think that the backpack butler is going to be good. But I wanted to go into detail on if this might cost crowns or not. Now obviously, potentially this could cost crowns because if it is something this extraordinary, then yeah, it's probably gonna cost you. And obviously it's not gonna be free. However, in the teaser, it says a new feature. So we don't know if that new feature is just going to be implemented in the game freely and everybody's going to have a backpack butler or if you can only buy it in the crown shop. Now there's also um, another theory that we can make saying that maybe we can just craft this item or maybe it is just going to be a crown shop item that we can potentially buy. But some crown shop items like the seed vault and the gear vault, some of those items actually have these types of recipes that you can get from Toshino in Mushu. So it's really interesting to see how this plays out. Now I wanted to go into the very, very tiny details of this entire screenshot. You see it right here. So obviously test realm confirmed obviously, but uh, not yet. It's not coming this week. I think it will be coming next week. So hopefully we get it real soon. 630 energy. That's a lot of energy. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think that's like the most energy I think anybody has seen. Um, but does that prompt us to say that there might be new energy gear coming soon? I kind of highly doubt that because 630 energy gear just seems a little bit extreme and that might just be a placeholder for the person that's actually testing this item or taking a screenshot of this um, teaser. Um, so that probably just is a placeholder, but could this prompt that we might get new energy gear? Um, yeah, I'll just, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see because 630 energy Energy, um, is a lot and like I said they have 5,000 health but they only have two potion bottles meaning that they haven't fully gotten into the game fully invested in the game so we could theorize that well if this player hasn't really beaten the game then yeah this item is possibly for the crown shop because the crown shop doesn't really have a level gap or it doesn't really have a press preference of a level i mean you can buy whatever you want in the crown shop without the level being needed but we can say for this fact that this dude definitely hasn't beaten the game yet since he only has two potion bottles. So most likely that this could potentially be a crown shop item because how else would this low level or this person that hasn't even done the main quest, how would he still have this furniture item? So it might be a crown shop item, but there's also another theory saying that this person may have gotten a crafting recipe from one of the previous worlds because again, they only have two potion bottles, meaning they haven't explored enough in the game. So we could theorize that there could be a crafting recipe for this house and everything else. The scroll of fortune actually has about like 14 tiers or 13 tiers because they added that last tier, which gave you the painting. So we could theorize that, hey, they might add more rewards in before the scroll of fortune. This is probably just gonna be a crown shop item. But let me know what you guys think about this whole um, thing. I mean, it looks very interesting. But regardless, let me know what you guys think. My name is Richard Unicorn Caller, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.